Yo, yo, yo. Remember that live stream I did yesterday where I showed off all those cool operating systems? Well, um, guess what? I gave one... I gave one of them a huge upgrade. Now, if you remember correctly, AlexOS was a passion project of mine that I maintained for a while, and that resulted in less than ideal performance and, uh, you know, stolen shit. I decided to revamp Alex OS for 2025. You know, make it actually decent. So... Alex OS has been completely redone from the ground up. No more stolen code. Welcome to Pwardos. The next generation, the start of the next generation for batch OS simulation. Blah, 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 you know, the normal shit. I have frequently asked questions, aka questions that I think, that I know you guys are probably going to ask, especially this one, and my socials, just so, you know, if you have any questions about this, you can ask me. If you have any, like, if you have any way that you can help, like, if you if you have, like, a cool thing that I can add to the system, then, you know, throw it at me. I want to see what you got. Anyway, all you got to do is run this simulate thing, and, um, you have a user system, and you have a prompt that's similar to MS-DOS, as the readme suggested. Now, the, th the thing that makes this interesting is that you can image your current installation into an into an image that you can deploy in the future. You also have sysinfo. I have a couple of these commands based on Unix. I've been taking more an interest to that slowly. Not enough to switch away from Windows, because honestly, that's never going to happen. Like, here's all the files that the OS can register. Of course, if you go in the drive C, you'll find, like, the trash bin, the... Uh, this. 7-zip. And, you know, that's all... That's all in good fun. So, what makes this different? Well, I mean, if you look around, there's a lot behind the scenes that make this similar to an operating system. The kernel handles most of the file handling. It starts the operating system properly. It manages your user. It can crash and halt when it needs to. All the other programs are just there. Now, let's pretend you just downloaded this and your entire this this entire thing is empty. You don't know what to do. Well, um, that's not an issue. Run simulate and you have a simulation setup experience. Yippee! All right, my password for gaming. All right, there we go. So you can type in your password, and, uh, you're in. Wardos has been installed. There's not a lot of commands for right now, but that's because this is only 1.0. You can't exactly want everything to be as you want it. I'm gonna refer you to a couple questions on the readme file. Time to answer some fucking questions. What way is this the next generation of OS simulation? Simple. Much like Batch United's operating system, this utilizes its own API system, letting you write custom software for it with ease. Is there a graphical interface planned for Puar DOS future updates? Yes, indeed. I can't promise anything but I hope to be able to make a custom graphical system for Puar DOS kernel. Much like how Windows keeps all of its graphical code in Win32k.sys, if I recall correctly, is there a chance of this operating system to break out of its custom file system and wipe my computer clean in its vanilla state? No, absolutely not. Any copy of Puardos that does anything malicious is not an official copy from me. If you find a link to a re-upload or mod of Puardos, please thoroughly look through its code and run it in a virtual machine before running it on a real computer. Am I able to run Puardos programs slash commands on my host computer? Not without modifying the script. Puar DOS is intentionally coded to only be compatible with the simulator running it. If it doesn't detect a simulator specific argument, the program just closes. Can I play Doom on it? 
If you're good at programming, yes. If you get it working on a graphical update to Puar DOS please send it to me at originalnametalk at gmail.com so I can credit you. You deserve the spotlight if you actually pull this off. All questions have been answered. This is the end of the video please enjoy the outtakes where Puar Gaming fucks up without realizing. Because he ran this thing on Windows 8 and not Windows 10. And you can change, you can choose what password you want it to be, you can choose your installation. Fuck fucking fuck. Okay, let's try this again. A password, I want it to be, uh, Bar Gaming. I want full installation. Why? Why? It's not compressed into a singular file anymore. Alright, the password for gaming. Alright, there we go. Okay, I've ran out of entertaining scenes too, so just go to the website and download my awesome system already. Thank you. Ah.